Every year on Ash Wednesday, we hear the same gospel that you just heard. And the final lines of that gospel seem at first at odds with what we're about to do. Jesus says, when you fast, wash your face, clean yourself, do not appear to be fasting. And within a few minutes, we're going to put ashes on your heads, on your face. But that has nothing to do with your fasting or your penance or even your prayer, really. It has something to do with reminding us of some important things about who we are and the beginning of this season, what we can become. First, yes, we smudge dirt on our faces. Reminds us of several things. First of all, that none of us is perfect. We all have some flaw in us. Secondly, that the outward part of us is not the important part. It's what is in our heart and in our soul. And that we accept the beauty and the glory that God can bring into our lives. The outward is secondary. Second thing that happens, all of us will receive the ashes. All of us. And so we look around and we notice all of us need God. All of us are on this journey. And it's never just me and God. It's all of us together as God's beloved people who are working together on the journey to God's love in heaven. And so it's community. Even more, when you receive the ashes, you will be told this, remember you are dust, and to dust you shall return. A rather sobering thought, isn't it? It reminds us that life is short, and that what we do here and now is important, and that God takes us seriously. And so we have this short life, dust to dust. But in that short life, so many wonderful things can happen and God's work can be done. And so we don't waste time. And finally, when you are given those ashes on your forehead, it's in the shape of a cross. This reminds us of the sacrifice and love that Jesus has for us, that he gave himself up to suffering and death for us, giving himself for our sake so that we might have a new entrance into eternity. And so the things that we do tonight are not to show other people isn't this wonderful? I am a Catholic and I am fasting and doing penance and doing prayer and giving to alms and all of these things during this Lent. It has nothing to do with that, but it has everything to do with reminding us about humility being smudged. It reminds us that as we are gathered together, we are a community because all of us are marked with the ashes. It reminds us of our mortality. Life is short. And it also reminds us of eternity, that Jesus, through his cross, opens the gates of heaven for us. And so humility, and then community, and then mortality, but in the end, eternity, and all under the power of love.